In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can make and edit a 3D surface chart in Microsoft Excel, which is great because A, they help you better capture and visualize anomalies in your data. They can also help show complex relationships that are more difficult to explain and show in a 2D relationship. It can help tell a story better that you might not capture in a 2D graph as well. So here we have a three-dimensional visualization of sales by region with the anomaly and product E just shown with ease right here. To, so, leading this, now to make a surface chart first, highlight the data that you want to make the surface chart of. In this, it's going to be sales by region. Now, you're going to want to go to the Insert tab, and you're going to want to click on Recommended Charts. From here, click on All Charts, and you're going to want to click on Surface, which is going to be right here. Now, here, as you can see, there are a few different options for a surface chart. One, which is an outline, one that's filled, and a couple other ones right here, one just kind of showing the top of the surface chart, and one kind of showing the top, but with just kind of over topographically right here. I'm going to click on this basic three surface chart right here and click OK. Now here we have a basic 3D surface chart of our data. Now one thing to note with 3D surface chart is you can rotate them and edit them to really kind of show the angle that you will feel will best display data. To do this, right click on the graph, click on 3D rotation, and here you will see this format chart area option pop up right here. We can adjust the X axis by clicking this up arrow right here or down. The Y axis, which will show it up or down, right here. You can even show the bottom of the graph if you want to, or the very top if that fits your needs better, or just the side. You can also adjust the perspective as well, and you can also adjust the differences for the ground, which can be right, which can be right angled axes, or you can auto scale it, which generally gives you the best visual, or you can not all scale, scale it if you want more flexibility right here. You can also adjust the depth percentage of the base to really just kind of tweak the angles to really get what you want it to do. Click on default rotation if you want the default. Now clicking on X, and you can also adjust the colors as well as you would kind of in a lot of other graphs in Excel. So for example, I can click on this icon right here, they just say one of the $300 to $400 range to be in red. Now you can right click on that, click on fill, click on red, and now the $300 range is in red. Now one thing to notice is that there aren't as many options as you might see in other types of graphs when you click on the chart elements. So click on the plus to see the chart elements that you can add and edit. You can add axis titles, take away axis titles. You can add or take away axes. You can add, add a chart title or not have a chart title. Add or remove grid lines. Also add or not have a legend, which can be beneficial depending on what you're trying to visualize. So see, as you can see with the legend, they see a bit of space. I don't see as much granularity without the legends. I can see a lot more granularity within my data. And you can really just adjust this chart in many ways that you can other charts. So for example, I can add a chart to it right here. Sales by region. I can adjust the text color of the entire chart by clicking on the chart and clicking going to the home tab and then clicking on text right there so now it's black. I can also adjust the fill if I really wanted to have like a different fill for the graph to maybe meet more branding of the company I'm working at for example. You can also click on the chart design and kind of mess around with some of the quick option formatting right here to really do what you want it to do. Switch columns and rows if you really want to. Um, get that kind of appeal in your data and if you want to edit the axes and the way they look click on one of the axes right click on it and then click on format axis and really just kind of mess around with the settings to do what you want them to do so you can have the axis type be automatic text to date you can have the axis position it's right there you can have adjust the tick marks so you can adjust the number of intervals between the tick marks if you'd like to which is more relevant for dates than text you can adjust the labels if you'd like to. You can also just kind of really just kind of mess around with the settings to do what you want them to do. Um, quickly show you what the same surface chart would look like with the other surface chart surface chart options. When you click on the chart, 
I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to insert, I'm going to go to recommend the charts, I'm going to all charts, I'm going to go to surface. As you can see with just the outline, it looks like this. Go to recommend the charts and also going to the top right here. So you can see with this option right here, um, with the contour option, it looks kind of the same because it's custom formatting that was applied. And the contour just lines looks the same, but that's also because the custom formatting that we applied, where we can kind of tweak the angle to really get the chart to look like you want it to look like. So that's it. I hope you found the tutorials to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.